Hey guys, Mr. T here, just doing a quick video on the um, five number summary and measures of spread. So the measures of center that we've dealt with, the mean, the median, and the mode, they try to represent a whole data set with a single number. And you've done some exercises regarding that. Now, we need to deal with the idea of measures of spread. They try to tell you how spread out a data set is. So the intention is that you can talk about the positioning of a data set based on the measures of center, and you can tell the consistency of a data set by talking about measures of spread. That's the idea of statistics. Now, something that's not in your book and that isn't really talked about in normal year 10, but I'd like to cover it, being your teacher, knowing what um, year 11 and year 12 lead to, I want to talk about the five number summary. It's a set of five numbers in statistics that give you a good idea about where a data set sits and how spread out it is. So your first set of notes would be to tell yourself that the five number summary is made up of the minimum, which I'll now be shortening to min. It's the smallest value in the data set. Quartile one, shortened to Q1. That's the median of the bottom half of the data set. The median, or med, is the median of the whole data set. Quartile 3, Q3, is the median of the upper half of the data set. And the maximum max is the largest data value in the data set. Now, please note, the five number summary of any data set should only be found after you order the data first. Why? Because you need to find the median first. Why? Because Finding the median splits the data into two halves, the bottom and the upper half, because the median is in the middle. And then once you've split the data into two halves, then you can find Q1 and Q2. So you need to find the median before Q1 and Q2 to split the data into lower and upper halves, okay? So right now, give yourself some time, pause the video, to get the idea of the five number summary down. Now, for the sake of my recording, I'll scroll down to the exemplar, find the five number summary for the data set below. Firstly, we need to order the data. So two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Seven, eight, eight, and nine. Data has been ordered. Find the median. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen pieces of data. Median equals thirteen plus one over two. If data value fourteen over two earth seven if the seventh data value is the median one two three four five six seven is the median that's one of the five number summary now the data has been split into a lower and an upper half when you have a median in the middle it's a single number the upper half does not include the middle number. So the upper half is this, and the lower half is that. And if you've done it right, there should be an even, or the same number of data in each of the halves. Obviously the upper and lower half are a bit easier when your median is between two numbers because you've just got, it's not a single number in the middle. Um, the designation of the upper and lower half are easy when you have an even number of data. So now that's the median. That's one of the five number summary. I can very easily find the min. It's two. The max is nine. Now we can do the calculations for quartile one and quartile three. There are one, two, three, four, five. There's six bits of data. Um, so median six plus one over two earth seven over two earth 
3.5. So the median of the upper half is going to be halfway between the third and the fourth. So Q1 is going to be halfway between 7 and 8. So 7.5 is Q... No, that's not Q1, that's Q3. And um, I do not need to repeat this calculation because there's also six numbers in the bottom half. So the um, median is going to be in the 3.5th position, halfway between 3 and 4. Um, and that's going to be the average of 3 and 4, which is going to be 3.5 is Q1. So your five number summary, therefore, five number summary min 2 q1 3.5 median 5 q3 7.5 max 9 five number summary give you some time to so get that down as needed but for the purposes of my recording, I'm going to move on. Now, your textbook, if you actually look at it, goes straight to this. It tells you to find the range. It tells you to find the interquartile range, which are two measures of spread that you're supposed to be aware of. But I'm trying to be smart here, and you're in Knights, so I want to help you work smarter, not harder. The five-number summary is useful to find because it makes finding the most simple measure of spread easy. The most basic measure of spread is the range. It simply tells you how spread out the largest and smallest data values are. Hence, the range is the max minus the min. Give you some time to get that down. Pause there if needed. And then the interquartile range. Again, it's useful to find the five number summary because it makes finding the second measure of spread that you're supposed to be aware of very easy. The interquartile range of a data set tells you how spread out the middle 50% of the data is. Please notice. The median splits the data into two halves. So this is 50% of the data. This is another 50% of the data. If I'm finding the median of the upper half I've now uh, and the lower half, I've now split the data into quarters. 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. The interquartile range, so this data between quartile 1 and quartile 3, represents half of all the data, but the middle half, not the upper half or the lower half. It represents the middle half. So the interquartile range is telling you how spread out the middle 50% of the data is. And often that's useful because in real life, things tend towards the middle. Things tend towards the average or the center. So you're going to get a lot of information about working out how spread out the middle 50% is. That's why we learn about the interquartile range. So the interquartile range IQR is Q3 take Q1 Give you a moment to pause there and get that formula down. But for the purpose of the video, I'll move on. So your last question here. Find the range and interquartile range for the previous data set shown again below. I'm not going to repeat working that out. I'm just going to copy and paste it from here. Oh, it's going to capture all of that. I don't want the comma at the top. Copy. So the range is the max, take the min. So it's going to be 9, take 2. It's going to be 7 is the range. And the interquartile range is going to be Q3, 7.5, minus Q1, 3.5. I believe that is 4, 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, 6.5, 4 is the interquartile range. So the, the total of the data, all of the data, is spread out by 7. The middle 50% of the data is spread out by 4. 
So to give you some time to get that example down, please pause there. Otherwise, hopefully that helps you out, and I'll see you in the next video.